All right, well, back here at home, big announcement for Detroiters who want to stay connected while enjoying the outdoors. Free Wi-Fi is now available in five Detroit parks. So let's head out to Demond Fernandez, who is live at Clark Park. Okay, so Demond, this has been a year-long project and really a big partnership to yeah. make sure that this can happen. It is, you know, it's kind of interesting. I think we have a theme here because I think this is a story that you can connect to the economy as well because for a long time we've been hearing that the cost of internet has been a barrier for so many families getting access to it. You know, city workers told me that an assessment was done a few years after the pandemic or during the pandemic where everyone had to be on online. Everyone had to have access to the internet, but they found out that so many families, especially those children who had to get access to the internet in order to go to virtual school, just didn't have it and they found out they couldn't afford it. Well, the city tried to redirect focus and with its partners, they made sure that they have made opportunity to provide free public access to the internet in five public parks. Let me show you something, not just access to the internet, but they're also making folks connected by bringing in these towers. So in those five parks, you'll notice these towers here and they're charging stations. How many of you have been to a park with your children, your phone's dying and you need a place to plug in? Well, they're making it accessible and free here in these parks. Now, the good thing about this is that it's solar powered. You can see the panels right here and it's available during park hours. So from eight in the morning until 10 at night, anyone can get access to the Wi-Fi uh, and internet through the Wi-Fi uh, program here, or you can just charge up your phone if you're coming out here to enjoy your kids playing games. Now, let me tell you about the five parks that they're in right now. They are in Brady, Chandler, Clark, where we are right now, McDuffie, and Palmer Parks. You know, I asked city workers whether or not there was a system. They wanted to make sure that there was equitable access to the free Wi-Fi, so they made sure they were in large parks across the city and so that people in all kinds of neighborhoods would have access to it. Now, they did tell me that people, about 12,600 residents, are within a half-mile walking distance to the parks to get free access. Earlier today, they had a press conference in the park to let us know how this would work. I talked to a couple of students who told me that they are using the free public Wi-Fi every day. They're doing it to uh, fill out their college uh, uh, the college applications. They're doing it to stay in touch with their families. And um, a couple of them work out here and they're doing this to, they're using this uh, device back here to charge up their phones uh, during the day. So um, folks are telling me that this is a plus for the community. I asked, one um, city tech director, what's the big goal? They told me that the big goal is making sure as many people as possible have access to the technology because in a city that's trying to become a big tech hub like Detroit, they just want to make sure that there's equitable access across all communities so that we can be uh, up to date with that digital divide. Christy? Absolutely, demand access is key. Great story, and we're going to have more information for people at clickondetroit.com for some specifics on that. Thanks so much. We'll see you for Local 4 News at 5 o'clock today.